Okay, in this drill, you are going to watch Mrs. Breen and Mr. Sheridan throw to each other. We are throwing for distance. So you're going to pass to your partner. They're going to pass back to you using good form. Remember, distribute your weight evenly, 70-30. Uh, um, at the very beginning, you'll see Mrs. Breen is in a good athletic stance here. She's just going to be shifting her body weight, right foot to left foot, and using her um, hips to throw. After each completed pass, so you pass to your partner, your partner passes back to you, you are going to step apart. So we'll watch them do this here. So as you can see, take a step back. Mr. Sheridan throws. Mrs. Breen throws. Take a step back. So as you get further away, you're going to have to use more lower body, and you're um, going to have to really make sure that you are aiming at your partner's chest, and your partner who you're throwing to should be giving you a good target using their hands, making a diamond or a triangle shape. Take a step back. We don't ever want to um, sacrifice your form just to throw it farther. Our point is that you are um, using really good form to throw it. So if you end up dropping it, you're going to have to come back to the start. Okay, so you're gonna throw it as much as you can back and forth, taking a step back. But if either one of you drops, either you or your partner, then you're going to start from the way beginning. All right, Mr. Sheridan really had to run up for that one. So we can tell that it's kind of getting to the point where we're gonna to have to move in again. And it's a good way just to warm up your arm as well. We're not bunting. <laughs> Mrs. Brain's making a joke. All right, so she's gonna throw it the best she can. Didn't quite get there, which is fine. It's gonna happen. So now we are gonna move back to where we started. Remember, we want good form using your lower body. All right, have fun.